Hey, gun people, soon to be knife people, like in other countries where they uh, outlaw guns to keep people safe because that's what government does. This article says a lot, but probably the most important thing isn't said. And this is the way the liberal left sanitizes and, uh, you know, uses statistics and write things, but yet doesn't give away on the failures of liberalism and uncontrolled immigration and not protecting good citizens and protecting people that just come in to take benefits and destroy your country. So nine charts on the rise of knife crime in England and Wales. Well, I just did that video and I'm going to put a link to that video in the description. And if you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend you watch it on knife crime and knife defense. Uh, YouTube kind of blocked it. They're kind of censoring it. Uh, you have to click a button to say that you're not scared. Uh, they've done everything but take it down, but they're really restricting and throttling down or shadow banning it. So they're actually just straight out banning it. Put a big old sign on the front that says, this is scary. And YouTube partnership, of whatever. Anyway, I'll put a link to that description. It's, a, it's, it's highly recommended that you watch that. Uh, I got a lot of good reviews on it. A lot of people like it and got something out of it, and I think it's important information. So let's take a look at why this knife crime. Well, let's take a look at not why it's up. We'll just say how the government is giving out information that they can't hide. So they're looking in England and Wales somewhere between 35,000 each year on knife and sharp attacks. Now, this is knife and sharp attacks. So this doesn't include throwing acid in people's face, beheading, running people over with cars, mass assaults with weapons. And we won't discuss who is doing all this crime or what religion of peace is involved. However, uh, you know, due to censorship and uh, being politically correct, we, we have to stay away from the truth. So knife crime is up. And in that video, I talk about the more countries bring in third world people where they've outlawed guns and guns aren't accessible, knives are the weapons of choice. Knives are becoming popular. Stabbing in in instruments and crimes are up everywhere. And the correlation is there's more people from countries that use knives. I know the liberals don't want you to believe that because they want to tell you everyone that comes over to your country is going to doctor school, but it just ain't the case. But idiots believe it. So then we got a homicide, rape, threats to kill, robbery and assault is where most knife things come in. 2% robbery and assault, 7% killing. You know, just good, decent refugees coming here to get a better life. Uh, let's see, knives are most commonly caused in death. Let's see, sharp instrument, 9, 39%. Hitting and kicking, 18, drowning, blunt. Shooting, 4%. How can there be 4% shooting? When guns are outlawed, I don't get it. You can't own a gun. The government told us once they took the guns, you would be safe, and you still have 4% of the people, 4% of the crime being committed with guns. And 4%, under 39% for knives, uh, you know, this should be at zero. If you listen to the government, if they make you do backgrounds and they take guns away from good people and they make you turn in your guns, this should be zero because only the government has guns. Oh, geez. Rick, stop stating facts about liberalism that they don't want people to know. Most violent attacks, no weapon. Really, no weapon. Use weapon of violent attacks, England Wells, year ending. Oh, we have gas bottle attacks. Gee, I wonder, wonder who runs around throwing gas on people. Uh, stabbing instruments. Other. Wow. So 39% of using knives, but only 77% no weapon. Damn, it sounds like crime spree over there. Everybody talks about U.S. crime. Uh, oh, now we got to get the perpetrator. Only by age now. We can't tell you anything else about the people committing these crimes. We can only tell you their age. Okay? So most are over 18, and probably almost a quarter is between 10 and 17. Gee, Rick. Are, are these males or females? Are these, uh, what, what religion are they? What, what race? Where do they come from? 
Well, you don't need to know that. Look, just pay attention, people. Stop asking questions from the media that the government tells them what to tell you. There's a knife crime in London. London, oh, London is really bad. Gee, I wonder what the highest population growth in London is. That's a shocker. Um, uh, let's see what another search. Oh, stop and search in London have declined. So police aren't searching people. Gee, that's a shocker. Wouldn't want to have the police called racist. So we'll have them stop searching people. Knife crime goes up and the liberals are saying we need to open the borders. We need to let in more people to keep you safe. You got to give up your guns so we can keep you safe. We got to raise taxes so we can have more government to keep you safe. And the liberal chant just continues. Man, uh, this this is really eye-opening. Again, uh, please go to the description, and, and if you, if you want to watch a really good video on how knives, how dangerous they are, and, and, you know, the liberals will tell you that guns are more dangerous, but believe me, when you see this knife video, and, and, and if you understand how dangerous knives are, it's going to open your eyes. But, you know, liberals, they don't want to open their eyes because there are none so blind as those that refuse to see. All right, we'll end that there. Go check out the other video that YouTube's censoring in the description.